He killed her right in front of me. The plastic, the table, the victim. Just like me. He knows everything. I can't figure this out now. It's going to be light soon. I have to dispose of the body, clean up after my not-so-secret admirer. Whoever that was got to Jenna before I could. He wants me to know that he knows what I am. In his own twisted way, he was reaching out to me. Class can wait. I have a more important homework assignment. I've created a copy of myself, and I have to find him. He'd be someone young, impressionable, malleable, his own dark urges not fully formed. Someone wanting to be taught. He was roughly my height, my build, my dark echo. Checked admissions, Peter Thornton was Dr. Milson's graduate teaching assistant. Makes sense. I heard something outside the office the night I killed Milson. I just need proof. Peter Thornton and his father went hunting. Only one came back. He was responsible for his father's death. We're more alike than I thought. This is the kind of heart-to-heart -heart I'd usually have with someone when they're on my table. The fact Peter nabbed Jenna before me is moot. She was going to die that night regardless. But I'm not looking for a sidekick. Got your note. I was hoping to hear from you. You put on quite a show. I could say the same. And you aren't upset at what I did? Dr. Milson got what he deserved. Seven dead co-eds, I couldn't agree more. He'd let me watch but never do anything. It was always his rules. He hasn't taken an innocent life. I don't have to kill him. Just scare him off. There are always rules. Then show me. The plastic is so cool. I want to know more. We're the same. We are not the same. Contact me again and you'll regret it. It's his word against mine if he were to go to the police. They'll never find Milson's body, though they will find Jenna's with Peter Thornton's prints all over it if he didn't get the message.